started uh, looking at community colleges from the East Coast. Uh, I was in the military and I was planning on starting and I saw a coastline in one of the, the magazines and I just said, that ah, that looks pretty cool. And I go in there and I was just blown away with all the resources that they had for veterans and everything. And the college itself was so helpful. And I took my first class and I just remember I just loved the whole experience and it was really fun. I found Coastline through, uh, I was actually going to another community college and I was involved in their student government and I met the treasurer of the ASG for Coastline. So we started talking and um, he told me a little bit more about the school and uh, said that they have a lot of online classes for distance students. So that's the main thing that I was attracted to. Prior to my entering the military, I was a part of the, um, the broader uh, sisterhood of the Coastline Community Colleges, so I went to Orange Coast College. And so after joining the military, it was a very easy decision for me to go back to what I knew, what I was comfortable with. I find Coastline through the website, and the website is easier to understand, and the format and the layout is pretty good compared to others, easier to understand. That's why I found Coastline. And then uh, Coastline have a lot of um, options for online and on-site class. So I am a working mother, so it's easier for me. Uh, I found out through Coastline College through the um, Navy College at uh, Point Magoo while I was stationed in the Navy there. So I was able to get all my stuff done online. Uh, I heard about Coastline when I was stationed at Fort Jackson, South Carolina. Um, one of the counselors was uh, located there and he talked to me about the programs. And um, he was very nice, very respectful, and I got more for my credits, so I decided to transfer. What, what, what it was about Coastline that helped me out was that um, through my military and the experience that I had, they gave me the most credit for my experience and so that was a deciding factor in me choosing uh, Coastline. Not, all, not only that, that um, it's a well-known college, you know, and it wasn't a fly-by-night college, so I was really impressed with what I saw and what I read and so that's why I'm a graduate. <laughs> I'm stationed in Hawaii and um, I was bringing another one of my junior troops up to, one of my um, junior CBs up to the Coastline College because he was interested in taking college. Uh, I had no real interest myself on doing it at the time. Sat down with the Coastline rep over there, her name was Cheryl Song, and um, she sat down and did a degree plan on me to show me how close I was to my own degree in management. Um, in a little less than, I'd say around 14 months, I finished up my degree. I think I was, my choice was influenced because of STAR program. It was like a two-year program and your classes were um, given to you so and then you had priority registration and it made it easier and then the view was actually also one of the things that's very pretty at Newport so yeah. <laughs> um, super close multiple locations and it's uh, small classrooms. I, Coastline, I feel like you're going to find instructors that really care about your success because like, you can go to a big, you know, a big university, a big school, and you're going to go to a class with 100 people, and you know, it's going to be like, okay, I went to class and then you leave. Uh, at Coastline, it's completely different. Like, you, I feel like the instructors are really there to be able to, to help you out. You know, if you want, need to ask them a question like right after class, you know, they're usually pretty small enough. And, you know, if you send them an email or anything, they'll respond right away. And it's not just the, the instructors, you know, you have any, any of the uh, faculty or any of the um, people working admissions and um, anywhere, really, they, everybody's there to help you out through the whole process. You should definitely come here because the class sizes are awesome. It's awesome that they're little because you really get, like, like I said, that bond with the professors. And then with not only the professors and the staff, but with your classmates, like they could, they really help yeah. you out. That you really get to know people. It's really awesome. It's a unique college, and people should come here. I think if you want to join Coastline, a good reason is because it is small. There's so much more opportunity for you to get, and you can get so much out of it. So once you are ready to take that step, it's 
kind of finding that um, a nice even keel with the balance from work and school and that's how the staff at Coastline has definitely facilitated things. They knew the standards that we had to meet, they were very prepared with our joint services transcripts, with our uh, earning credits for our military experience, how those translated, what worked, what didn't, and really being able to be a guiding force in our final decision making process. I love the faculty. They were always helpful. Anytime I had a question, they'd always answer it. If they weren't available, I could just leave a message and they always got back to me. I never had to worry about, is anybody going to call me back? Is anybody going to email me back? I always got a response very quickly. Every time I needed guidance or I had questions as far as the completion of my degree, um, they were always readily available. They were so respectful. I don't remember a time where it wasn't um, a good experience with any of the staff so everybody was just so friendly um, and I was able to get more information than when I originally asked them so every yeah it was a very good experience. The support I received um, not knowing uh, questions that I had about classes, books, uh, whatever I needed I got in contact with them uh, as far as transferring my credits and what I needed to do from being out of town it, they were a great, great help. Um, anytime I dialed that number, they would contact me or put me in contact with whoever could help me. And it was very, very, very appreciative. The faculty are awesome. Honestly, like, I love that it's a small class size because they really get to know you. And then you get like a bond and they really help you out. Like um, Professor Erin, I had her for both years, like all semesters. And it's so awesome. Like we threw her a baby shower last our last day of class because she's having a baby. So I feel like it's so it's awesome. They're all so helpful and willing to help. Yeah, the faculty are really awesome. They like even after you're done with their class, <laughs> they still are saying hi and still keep in contact. I've even added some on LinkedIn. <laughs> um, there are some challenges, especially being in the Navy when we're on a seashore rotation. Um, I have seen some of my other, I've seen some of my other colleagues when they're trying to do online classes while we're on what they say is sea duty. It's hard because you're deployed, you get, you're dealing with um, the aspect of deployment. But during our three-year shore duty, it's pretty much like a nine-to-five job for me specifically as a CB. So it was fairly simple for me to take the classes online at night. And there is. Um, some of the challenges you face is you don't have that instructor per se to ask questions and get answers right away but there are online tutors and everything else and uh, um, I found that the instructors as I was going through made it very simple for me to email them and get an answer back within you know a day or so so I mean the classes were fairly fairly easy to keep on track with uh, I am part of the Navy so the biggest challenge was definitely trying to take classes aboard a ship when you are 3,000 miles away from everything and trying to use computer systems aboard the ship, that is definitely challenging. They have a tendency of turning them off at random times. So finding that quiet time in the library to being able to sit down and do my assignments, that was definitely the most challenging time. This is a commitment. I, my family and I moved to the United States um, five years ago. So I take the opportunity opportunity of American for people to study and to grow. So that's why I, I make my commitment in college. Um, I stay dedicated. Um, I did it for my family to I'm also the first in my family to graduate. So I just continue to stay motivated. Um, I did it for my husband to uh, you know be an example for him as well. Um, so I just stayed focused, I stayed dedicated, and um, I fit it in my schedule as much as I can, even if it was one class at a time. Well, I am from Pensacola, Florida, and so I took uh, my classes online. Um, and so it was challenging, but um, I've never done uh, online classes before. So I found it very, very challenging navigating around the internet and on the computer. So it was a challenge, but I'm here. My associate's degree is in electronics. I myself am an aviation electronics specialist, so it fits right down my path line. Uh, as following next, after 15 years of military service, once I complete 20, I'll be ready to retire and kind of move on to the next step in my life. And what I've decided to do with that is to become a high school instructor. I love teaching, I'm an instructor now. 
I like being face to face with students. I think uh, a lot of the guidance that I received through Coastline and my experiences there definitely pushed me into that direction. So that's where I would like to follow next. Hopefully at San Diego State University and uh, study in Spanish and teach Spanish at a local high school. Coastline made it really easy and they, uh, they really helped me. And so now I'll be doing accounting in Cal State Long Beach. I'm, I feel excited to complete my associates. My goal was just one, um, but I was told I was able to complete three. Um, so I was very excited about that. My next goal is to transfer to Murray State University out of Kentucky, um, attend the Green to Gold program and uh, commission. My degree here today, my associates is in supply chain management. So I'm going to continue that and that will help me out uh, in the job world because I'm uh, actually doing logistics right now for the Department of the Navy. So this is going to help me with promotion and further my career. I ended up obtaining my degree, like I said, in a little less than, I want to say it was either 14 or 16 months in management and supervision. Um, I started working towards, I've already started working towards my bachelor's in um, security management through uh, AMU, American Military University, which um, the, co the credits that I obtained from Coastline transferred right over to them and I'm already in my sophomore year there on my bachelor's degree. I'm excited, a little nervous because I'm in front of the camera, but I'm excited. Um, what's next on the agenda is uh, going on for my bachelor. And so um, uh, this is my start and um, I'm happy. <laughs> um, it's actually an honor to, to do this considering um, I never walked the stage in high school. So for me to do this, it's a major accomplishment. I'm super excited. Honestly, it feels like forever, but it's so short now you think about it in hindsight. So, but I'm really glad and I'm so excited we're all moving on to as well. Yeah, I am transferring to Humboldt State University, which is a little scary but exciting so yay i'm uh, transferring to cal state long beach i'm gonna continue my business degree Thanks. i feel very overwhelmed uh i'm 42 years old i my not only myself but a lot of my family never really thought this was going to happen and so now's the big day and i've even been accepted on to uh, get an engineering degree at a four-year college and i'm moving on and moving up